Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you, as is usual. Um, so for this one we're going to head back across to Canada, so it's my first Canadian beer review in maybe about 150 or so videos, and it's my very first Quebecois, uh, Quebecois beer, I'm sorry if my pronunciation isn't quite right, but this is going to be the first time I do a beer from Quebec. So we're going to go to Dieu de Cille today and have a taste of the Blanche du Paradis, which is a Belgian style wit beer. And uh, as is usual then with my beer reviews, I will take you through a very short history of the it is quite short for this one, but as always, if you are simply just interested in the tasting of this beer, just fast forward a few minutes into the video and you will catch that. And as always, the brewery website's in the video description for you below, and there's a link there that will take you to my future Dew de Seal beer reviews as well, but they will obviously be added over the coming weeks. So anyway... Uh, Dieu de Seal started as a brew pub in Saint Jerome in Quebec with Jean Francois Gravel at the helm, and apparently he has no formal brewing training, and he learned to brew beer simply through home brewing experiments. Like many kind of craft breweries, actually start up it's someone who has a real passion for the beer and just starts experimenting for themselves. But Jean Francois apparently came up with the name in 1993 to describe his home brewed beers, and it translates literally to God in Heaven. But essentially, for somebody who speaks French, it's essentially for us in English it's basically them saying oh my god if you like but apparently there's a certain boldness in the name of this brewery because the, the Quebecois culture was dominated for a long time by the clergy sort of religious organisations and things like that and a tra traditional Belgian style brewing and in Canada recently they've, they're sort of getting the fix that every other kind of country is getting these days with this sort of American craft brewing renaissance these guys sort of brew in the more American style where they take classic beers and sort of experiment with them a little bit so this is pretty much it's kind of an American style brew in that sense I guess you could say but the craft beer scene has really been expanding in Canada over the past few years and Quebec has been performing very well in this area but since Dieu de Seal opened in 1998 they've brewed a large assortment of over 70 different beers and their first brew pub is actually in Montreal and it has 15 beers on tap at any one time and apparently there's also an apartment above the brew pub that visitors can rent and stay in and now there is actually also a second brew pub at the brewery at the actual brewery in Shanzu Rome as well and at the moment they actually have a range of 22 different bottled beers so that's your brief history of the Dieu de Seal brewery so we'll get on to the tasting of this guy now actually I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the, uh, the artwork on this beer. These guys have a very distinctive style of artwork. It's almost kind of like this sort of, it's a, sort of a modern take on these old style kind of French and Belgian paintings if you like. So you can see the nice blonde woman in there. I guess it's just kind of referring to the fact that it's a wit beer. Who's, if you look at her she is quite pale but it's a really nice artwork on this one. I'm going to see if I can steam the label off this guy and put it in a scrapbook or something. I'm going to start doing that with my beers to keep the label. And this is the standard uh, Dieu de Seal bottle cap. You can see the angel with the sort of trumpet in it its mouth there but this guy is a 5.5 percent a uh, sort of belgian style white beer or white it says uh, beer blanc uh, beer blanche and um, so yeah i guess you would just say it's a kind of a uh, wheat beer if you like and it's a wheat beer brewed with spices apparently this guy was first introduced in May 1999 and it's brewed with coriander seeds and curacao orange peel so let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting here should be a really interesting beer for us to try and as I say to you I do have another four of these beers to review for you over the next little while oh, that didn't quite work out as I was hoping so as you can see oh it's a twist off cap that's why it didn't work okay so this is should be a really interesting one for us to review this is one I actually picked up in Brewdog the Brewdog bar in Aberdeen so Brewdog are really kind of promoting this brewery and they do seem to be very well rated on rate beer and beer advocate and things like that so I'm sure we will start seeing them a bit more commonly throughout Scotland and things obviously if Brewdog are their, are their uh, importer you will see them kind of expanding throughout the place now but I'll just bring up the light and let you have a proper little look at this beer it's a very kind of hazy bright yellowy golden colour actually it's got a finger of a frothy white head on it they're really really nice looking beer you can just get an idea of the colour of this guy here just a little bit of carbonation actually going up to the bottom of the head there but overall it looks I think this will be quite a, a smooth beer but I might have been proved wrong with that before when I've said that and the head is actually just declining a little bit into the glass so let's give it a shugo and see how we get on here it smells very typical of the style, I'll say that. So you've got a nice kind of wheat, sort of sweet bready, sweet bready yeast in there actually. You've got a little bit of the kind of typical banana and clove that you would expect from this sort of style of beer. 
It's actually quite an intense Roma actually, it's got a nice kind of sharp citric uh, lemon and orange to it, but obviously it's brewed with sort of curacao um, orange peels and stuff like that. So it should be, that's what you would expect, it actually does have quite an intense aroma to it this one. And I've never tried this beer actually, I did try the uh, one of the beers that they brewed, it was a Japanese collaboration, a brown ale, I tried that on tap in Brewdog and it was beautiful, so I've never tried this one before though. But it's a very intense aroma, like I say, a nice sharp citric orangey lemon character coming out of this one. You've got the nice kind of typical sweet bready Belgian yeast underlying in there and you can pick up the coriander and clove leaf in there. It's actually quite an, it's a really nice aroma in this one actually. But let's give it a taste and see how we get on here. So this is my very first beer from Dieu de Ciel in uh, Saint Jerome in Quebec in Canada. It's very, as I, I, I've actually been proved right this time, it's a very, very smooth beer. But yeah, at the front of the tongue, at the start of this one, you're getting a lot of nice sharp lemon and orangey citric flavours. It kind of sits there just right at the front of the tongue. Around the edge, you're starting to just get a little bit of that nice kind of soft wheat. And the yeasty character is actually, the sweet yeast is coming out in the aftertaste as well, actually. It's not too spicy, this beer, actually. And the spice... The spice character from the coriander and the clove and the sort of clove flavours that come with it, you're getting that at the start of the beer when the carbonation's coming out a little bit. The wheat in this one is more of the sort of, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> it's more of the sort of um, sweet Belgian, -y. it's more of the sort of sweet and soft one rather than the really spicy wheat that you can get in some of these beers. I think there's a little sort of floral character in this one as well. After you've given it a taste, you're just getting this sort of little floral character that's coming out, just really on the edges of the tongue actually, but right at the edges towards the back of the palate. But yeah, in the opening, a lot of nice kind of citrusy orange and lemon flavours, then afterwards it sort of fades to the nice kind of sweet white wheat yeastiness that's in there. It's got an interesting little bit of spicy character that also comes in the middle there with the carbonation when it sort of attacks the tongue if you like. And there's just a little bit of coriander mixed in with that kind of wheat bread. And the, the spice character actually does come out a little bit on top of the wheat in the aftertaste, but it's really quite mild. It's not overly spicy like some of these beers can be. But well, there's definitely a sort of banana flavour to this one as well. But yeah, you just get a little bit of that kind of citricy fruit moving towards the front of the tongue as well there. But there's a little bit of floral character in there, definitely I would say. The aftertaste is just a little bit of the kind of citricy oranges at the front and just that nice kind of soft wheat at the back, sort of left and right side of the tongue. It's, it really actually is quite a nicely balanced one. But it's really, it's really quite nice. I mean, in terms of the mouthfeel, definitely light bodied. It's got a good level of carbonation that just, it actually really helps bring out the spice character in this beer, as I'm saying. And then it just fades and you get this really nice kind of slightly sweet uh, yeast and kind of wheat flavours coming out there. It's very well done in that regard. Some breweries just don't get that right, in my opinion. But I think this one works very well. But it's quite fresh. The floral character actually gives it a good little bit of freshness as well. And it's a little bit crisp as well, and I think perhaps that is also down to the, the way the wheat works in this one. Maybe the little bit of spice character that comes in with the carbonation. And it's got a sort of semi-dry feel. It is actually a little bit drier, I think, than some other ones in this kind of style of beer. Yeah, I would say that you just get a little bit of dry character after the carbonation sort of fades out on this one and that kind of just helps the flavor, the sort of wheaty flavour kind of expand over the palate a little bit. But overall it's a very nice example of a wheat beer. It's different in a few ways that I've kind of listed for you throughout the review of this one and as I say the wheat character in this one is a little different 
from some of the American beers that I've had. Maybe there's a little bit of the kind of Quebec water mineral character in here as well. Because obviously Canada, like Scotland, has very, very pure water. So I, I kind of notice that when you go to Can uh, Canada for beers and New Zealand and stuff like that, you do get a little bit of this kind of mineral character coming out. You notice it with the Einstuck beers from uh, from Iceland, actually. So. I think there's def uh, pardon me. I think there's definitely a little bit of that in there. But overall, it's a very very nice beer, and I look forward to reviewing the uh, the other beers from this brewery in the future. So. I hope you've enjoyed this beer review, very interesting wheat beer and a very interesting brewery actually who I'm sure you'll see more of in the in the, the near future actually so um, if you've enjoyed this beer review please consider subscribing to the channel as always let me know in the comment section below if you do happen to have tried this beer yourself the, uh, to the Quebecois people who are probably watching this beer review I apologise if my French pronunciations aren't quite correct uh, I'll try and work on that next time if you leave your comments and let me know but as always please like, subscribe, share I hope you've enjoyed this beer review, you've been watching Goddard Radio Moscow. There's another four Dieu de Seal beers to come for you, so subscribe to the channel and I will catch you soon with those. Cheers.